those sadsters. My profound apologies <clears throat> for not posting over the weekend. Uh, and first off, happy Father's Day, belated, um, to all the fathers in the sad, sad conversation. <clears throat> I should have posted this weekend because it was a miserable one. <laughs> And I was very upset on uh, on Friday night, but I was out, and I did not want to post out and about. I want to be able to get into the nitty-gritty. I'm in a much better mood now than I was, so I don't know if that defeats the purpose. But um, I was sad because of two things. The first was I had been offered a part on a show that a friend of mine... Is, runs he's the star of um and uh i was really excited about it because he had asked me to do a show once before a year ago and i could not because of a work conflict um and uh i w was all set to do it and then there was terrible miscommunication between my people and someone on the show and um through no fault of my own, um, I was just waiting to hear all day on Friday what my call time and anything was for Monday, and I didn't hear, and then come to find that in the seven hours my people were kind of dicking around, not getting answers for me, they hired somebody else. So that was a major bummer. And then the icing on the cake was um, also on Thursday, I had gotten asked to be a presenter at a, a kind of a really fun award show, um, one that I I, I have uh, watched in the past, and uh, I was very excited to be a presenter at this award show. And then on Friday, they sent me an email saying, "Yep, your appearance as a presenter has been canceled." Uh, the explanation I got was that I had been asked because they had asked someone else who had previously said no. And then this person changed their minds and said yes. So then I got the boot. I did not find out who this person was, and I don't want to know. Because I'm sure it'll be someone who I deem way b below me in the, in the Hollywood echelon. And I don't want to beat myself up over it, so I, I'm just going to pretend it's Tom Cruise. Um, I just got back from the batting cages, which is... One of my favorite things to do. I love baseball so very, very, very much. And I love swinging the old bat. Uh, last year I bought myself a beautiful wood bat that I use at the cages. And uh, you can't see them here, but I've got some fantastic blisters on my hands. And I don't mind them. I will take them. They make me feel great. Real quick, Michael Ian Black, the esteemed film critic Leonard Malton, and I were talking about you the other day. He's a huge fan of yours and a huge fan of Viva Variety, as I was, as we all were. And uh, I thought you'd enjoy hearing that, because who doesn't like to know that A, they were being talked about, and B, uh, that they are... Uh, so enjoyed by uh, one of the greats, Leonard Malton. And, uh, and that is all I have for today. I love you all, and hopefully I'll have something more interesting later. Goodbye.